In variable section sweeps, you can write relations in the sketch using the special trajectory parameter tragpar. Let's look at a few examples. And I'll start with a simple example, creating a sweep using a straight line trajectory. And here we have our start point located. I can hold down the right mouse button and choose sketch. And for this simple sketch, I'm just going to make a rectangle, keep things nice and simple. And let's change our dimension here. Let's give that a value of one. And this other dimension, let's give it 0.5. Now let's write relations in the sketch to have these values change along the length of the trajectory. I will click on the Tools tab and then Relations. And when I do that, the dimensions automatically switch from their numeric form to the symbolic form. And I can click on them to write different equations here. So I can say that this SD3 dimension is going to be equal to, and I want it to start at an initial value of let's say one, and then I can add tragpar to it, plus tragpar. And again, tragpar is the special trajectory parameter, and tragpar has a value of zero at the beginning of the trajectory, and a value of one at the end of the trajectory, regardless of the length. So again, the length of the trajectory is normalized from zero to one. And let's write another relation. I'm going to write one for SD4. And let's have that be equal to, oops, click in here, equal to two plus tragpar. And I'll click OK and the values update for a tragpar of zero. Let's go back to the sketch tab and click the check mark to finish out of there. And right now I just have this as a block. Tragpar has no effect here until I click on the button to say that I want to have a variable section along the length of the feature. And you'll notice that now the dimensions changed. So we have this scaling as the part is getting wider and getting taller along the length of the feature. So again, just a very, very simple example there to begin with. Let's take a look at a second example. And to make things easier to see, I am going to suppress or temporarily delete the first sweep in the model. And click on the sweep command. I will select my trajectory. Here we see the start at the beginning. And if I click on the sketch button to go into sketch mode, you'll notice that my sketch references are just located sort of like a weird angle over here. So I am going to cancel out. And just like we saw in an earlier video, I can change the X direction reference at the start. And I could choose this datum plane called right. And that way, when I go into sketch mode, you can see that my sketch references are sort of the way I want them to be, sort of angled over here. And for this one, let's sketch a rectangle again. And let's change our values. Let's have that a value of two and a value of one. And let's change this to 0.5. And again, I'm going to write some relations now. So I'll go to the Tools tab and Relations. And let's start with this dimension over here, SD5. I'm going to have that start just be the value of tragpar. Start at zero and go to a value of one. And you can write more complicated mathematical expressions if you want. So for example, maybe I want the SD3 dimension. Let's have this be equal to one plus tragpar, not that much more interesting. But for the SD4 dimension, let's have that be equal to two plus tragpar squared. And if you want to use other different functions in here, you uh, can, if you click on the F of X button, you can see all the different functions that you can use. And in a moment, I'll use one of my trigonometric functions for driving tragpar. So let's click OK. The dimensions adjust. 
Let's go to the sketch tab, hit the check mark. And again, right now the section is not changing along the length of the feature. I'll click the button over here to make it a variable section. And so we can see by having the distances change, the length dimensions change, we are indeed getting a variable section in our sweep. Hit the check mark and it's completed. All right, one last example. This time I'm going to use a sign function when I'm using Tragpar. So let's initiate our sweep feature. I'm going to select the sketch that I used to create this disk and I'll click the button to say that this is going to be a variable section sweep. Let's click the sketch button and I'm going to add in some sketch references to lock to the inside and outside of the disk. And my sketch is just going to be a rectangle. Locking into my sketch references. And let's give this value of 0.5. Now let's write our relation. Tools, Relations. And I'm going to pick the SD3 dimension. I'm going to say that this is going to be equal to 0 0.5 plus the sine of traj par and traj par goes from a value of 0 to 1 so I'm going to multiply that times 360 and I'm going to multiply that by the number of waves that I want along here then let's take this entire sine function and multiply it by the amplitude of 0 0.5 that's good I will click OK and go to the sketch tab, hit the check mark, and there you can see a preview, sort of looks like an image of the sun, but it's essentially sort of like a gear with the different surfaces I could use in a cam connection. Hit the check mark, and the feature is completed. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.